What's happening guys? Welcome to, I suppose we'll call it part two of this video. Not too sure what's going to be in it until I start editing, but I'm guessing it's going to be a uh, look around Loxton and Lirup. I'm actually heading to Mildura. I've got some shock absorbers on board from the race car and uh, I'm going to take him to this shock guru up there. And I did want to have a chat with him, so I thought, as far as Loxton, we might as well go all the way and I can do a video for next Wednesday of uh, the Mildura area in Wentworth. So at the moment, we're probably going to just show you the floodwaters around Loxton. And then after talking to the farmer, which was actually this morning, where I camped at Millich's Landing, he suggested I check out the road that goes just before Berry. You actually go down the Berry Flats towards Berry, this side of the river, and you turn right just up where the old ferry used to be. And uh, that road leads you all the way into Lirup. And uh, he said it uh, just shows you where a lot of the backwaters and the floodwaters there. So we're going to head that way and uh, check it all out. So uh, I reckon. I better turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm looking at. And you know what that means? It's time to start the music. Looking forward to getting down here in hopefully a few weeks time with the kayak and go for a bit of a paddle out there, check out the tree of knowledge, check all the, they've got on the tree all the dates of all the floods right up to the big one, 1956. Another interesting thing about Loxton, it's one of the only big towns on the river in South Australia where you cannot get to the other side of the river by either a bridge or a ferry. Okay, I 
could be way off, but this road has to get flooded out. Those backwaters there to the left and right. Look like looks like the water's only down about one metre from the top of the road. And I think it's still got to rise a couple of metres, so I'm guessing if this floods out they you've got to drive around to Peringa Bridge. So straight ahead to, is the bridge into Berry. Gurra Road, which leads to Lirup, <coughs> Gurra Gurra Wetlands, and this is the old original road that uh, puts you on the ferry. There used to be two ferries here before the bridge was built, and they were straight ahead there. We might go for a drive down there, just show you. So that was your two it won't be long before this road gets flooded out see the water rushing through to the right River Murray is out to the left. So I know this road out here leads to land on the River Murray where people have got permanent houseboats moored so it looks like they're in a bit of trouble so that road was just at the start of Lyrup on the Berry side now there's a caravan park down here to the left be interesting to see yeah the caravan park is buggered so road's closed, but I'll just park up here and we'll go for a walk. So this is the entrance to the caravan park and just a general park with barbecue areas, River Murray flowing out the other side of those trees. I should have some photos or, should, or video that I can screenshot and show you this area when I was here probably seven or eight weeks ago but usually just to the right of that shed caravans are parked they've got electricity there that shed is a barbecue area toilet block there to the left and this area usually completely dry so this is the backwaters halfway between Lirup and Yamba sort of heading towards the Mildura Road got Renmark in the distance probably on that hill there would be Paringa and uh, this camera wouldn't pick it up anyway so probably about six seven kilometers away river murray is across the other side there probably two kilometers away it's 
It's a lot of water. So just at Bert Dix Reserve at Paringa, Paringa Bridge in the distance. This is where I had my houseboat moored up. Hadn't quite broken the bank there yet, but this overflow channel here is letting a lot of water into here. That bridge over there hadn't got enough room to get all the water underneath it. So the water's starting to shoot out to the right. This is the Pringa Sandbar. Filmed this a few weeks back. The main river runs the other side of those trees which are out there about 90 meters and downstream to the left this is about 300 meters downstream from going on on my phone when I was had the drone up and I was half expecting to see a $1,500 drone fly off into the distance but it was worth it you've got to do it for the content so thanks for watching leave a comment press the thumbs up button or the thumbs down button I don't care and uh, we'll catch you guys next Wednesday at Mildura Bye.